Fun, how are you? I hope you all are fine. So in this video, we will discuss about visualizing the nation. It means in this topic, in this part, we will discuss about that how the nation is visualizing their. So how the nation? So how they visualizing their nation? Okay. So they visualizing their nation with the help of uh, uh, algorithms. Okay. You know what is algorithm? Uh, it is nothing. It is a female figures. Okay. That uh, is uh, helps to represent a nation. Okay. But uh, the but uh, there is no any actual woman like this. Okay. This is a hypothetical figure. Okay. So here is a question that given here that while it is while it is easy enough to represent a ruler through a portrait or a statue. Statue. How does one go about giving a face to a nation? It means how that we give a face to a nation. That in India there is also a face is given here for a nation. That is a Bharat Mata. We all know. Artist in the 18th and 19th centuries found a way out by personifying a nation. It means artist in which they are uh, in the which centuries the 18th and 19th century they are. Person find the uh, way to sorry they first find they are founding the way up to personifying the nation. Okay, in other words, they represented a country as if it were a person. It means they represent a country that it if it is a person, it was were a person. Now nation were then a portrait as a female figure. It means they portrait a nation uh, with the help of female figure. Okay, in France there is a also a allegory called as Mar Mary, and the, in the Germany there is Germany. Now it is given that nation was then portrayed. The people from form that was chosen to personify the nation didn't stand for any particular woman in real life. I have already mentioned in the point that they are not. Any particular woman in the real life, rather it's out to give up the abstract idea of the nation from same form. That is the female figure become an allegory of the nation. It means the female figure that is used to personify the nation. It is called the allegory of the nation. So I hope you understand that what is allegory. Okay, allegory is nothing. It is the only. It is the only a uh, female figure. We can say here that it is given already here that uh, female figure of uh, to uh, female figure of to personify the nation. Okay, so that that type of that allegory has a symbolic or we can say a literal meaning when an abstract idea such as there is. Liberty, freedom, and envy, greed is expressed through a thing or a person. Okay. It is known as allegory, and to represent a nation, also female allegories were invented by the artist of the 18th and 19th century. In the same way, there is Germania became an allegory of the German nation, and Mary, a popular Christian name, became an allegory in France. Okay, and this uh, uh, this uh, man was also uh, stamped on the coin of the France. Okay. So you will recall that during the French Revolution, artists used the female allegory to portray ideas such as liberty, justice, and the republic. These ideas were represented through specific objects and also the symbols. It means uh, in the previous uh, class we have seen that in the chapter one, that is uh, uh, French Revolution, we have seen that in the last there is uh, uh, symbols to uh, symbols to represent the. People's liberty, justice, and republic. Okay, that there is a, a broken chain. Okay, and uh, uh, there is female also, and a right of uh, right of the man chart is also in their hand. Okay, and so many things are given there in the previous chapter. Previous chapter, not in the previous class. That is in class nine. Now. As you remember, as you remember, the attributes of liberty are the red cap, okay, red cap, broken chain, while the justice is generally is blind point. Woman carrying a pair of ring scale also, okay, because for the justice. 
similar figure as only were invented by the artist in the 19th century to represent a nation in france he was a uh, christian okay christian name is mary right and a popular christian name it means it is a popular christian name which underlines the idea of a people's nation it means which is like this uh, idea of people's nation Her characteristics were down for those liberty and the republic. The red cap, the tricolor, the cockade. Statue of Mary was erected in public squares to remind the republic. Okay, in the first we have we can you can see here in this figure. This one, okay, liberty. Um, uh, men category is also here. Where is here? This type of. Liberty and persuade them to identify the victim, and also many events were marked on the coin and stamps. Okay, I have already mentioned that. Just in the coin, there is also the figure of Nelson. That in India we have seen that there is a uh, pick of a uh, uh, Gandhi, Mahatma Gandhi. Okay. Similarly, Germania became the glory of the German nation. In visual representation, Germania wears a crown of oak tree. That is given. Oak. This is the leaf of oak. Now, as a German oak stand for purity, it is given that what is the meaning of this type of things? Okay, that is placed here. That the uh, uh, shroud and the this one. Okay, plan. Okay, so let's see that the broken chain. It means being freed. Freed. Okay, breastplate with eagle. It means symbol of German empire, strength. Okay, power. Crown of oak tree shows heroism. Sword shows resistance to fire. Resistance to resistance. Resistance to fire. A live branch around the sword. Willingness to make peace. It means this is a a live branch. Okay, that is stand for the willingness to make a peace. Black, red, yellow, tricolor. That is a flag. Okay. Now rays of rising sun beaming off a. New, yeah. In this figure, there is also this. So in this topic only, you have to read about the allegories. Okay. Now the last topic of this chapter is the nationalism and imperialism. Okay. Firstly, we all know that what is nationalism. Okay. And now I will uh, tell you about the imperialism. That the last nation be. Is to occupy a smaller nation to expand its territory, okay, and also to expand its power. This is called imperialism, okay. It is started in the end of the 19th century. Let's see what is given here. That the last uh, quarter of the 19th century nationalism no longer retained in the idealistic liberal democratic sentiments of the first half of the century, but became a narrow creed. With limited ends. Okay, there also have limited ends during during this period. The Swiss group became an increasingly intolerant of each other and ever ready to go to where war. Now, the major European powers in the turn manipulated the nationalist aspiration of the subject people in Europe to further their own imperialist ends. It means they wanted to expand its power, its territory, to make a big nation. Okay. So the uh, for this they uh, they were do they were start doing wars. Okay, now the most serious source of nationalist tension in Europe in after eighteen seventy one was the area called Balkans. Okay, there is a uh, story about the Balkans. So the Balkan was a region of geographical ethnic variation of comprising modern by which Romania, Bulgaria, Albania, Greece, uh, Macedonia, and. Croatia, Croatia, Bosnia, uh, Herzegovina, Slovenia, Ser Serbia, and Montenegro, which inhabited, were broadly known as the Slavs. A large part of Balkans were under control of which empire? Ottoman Empire. Now the spread of this idea meant thick nationalism in the Balkans together with the disintegration, disintegration of the Ottoman Empire. Made this region were very explosive. Okay, 
So there is a region called Balkan regions. Okay, it was under the control of Ottoman Empire, and uh, due to uh, sorry. Here the Balkans was a region of geographical and ethnic variation also that is comprising modern day Romania, Bulgaria, Albania and Greece etc. Okay. Now but due to this integration of Ottoman Empire, one of by one Balkan state broke away from its control, declared independence. And firstly jealous of each other, each hoped to gain more territory. It means obviously they wanted all the nation wanted to get more territory. So this type of jealous of each other, we hope to gain more territory at the expense of the other. Okay. So they started jealousy to each other. They have uh, they had jealous for each other. That Russia have more territory, Germany has more territory. Okay, this type of jealousy. Okay. Now the Russia, Germany, England, Austria, Hungary, Hungary were keep control over Balkans. It means these are the four uh, nation states which were kept the control over the Balkans. Okay, which one? The Russia, Germany, England and Austria. This led to a series war off and finally led to a first world war. It means due to the uh, territory, due to the uh, more territory, more uh, to uh, and they wanted, all the nation wanted to expand their power, expand their territory. So for this they start fighting okay so this leads to a series of war and finally it becomes a first world war okay so it is given that the ottoman empire made this uh, all through the 19th century the ottoman empire has sought to strengthen itself through the modernization and internal reforms but with their little success one by one eastern european subject nationalists broke away from its control and declared independence the Balkans people based their claims and independence for the political rights and also the nationality and used the history to prove that they had once been independent but had subsequently been sub subjugated by the foreign powers. Hence the rebellious nationalities in the Balkans throughout their struggles as attempts to win back their long lost independence. Okay. They wanted to do struggles as well. As the different Slavic nationalists struggled to define their identity and independence, the Balkan area became the an area of intense conflict. The Balkan states were personally jealous of what? Jealous of each other and each hoped to gain more territory at the expense of each other. Matters were further complicated because the Balkan also became the scene of big power. Rivalry. Now, during this period, there was intense rivalry among the European power over trade, colonies, as well as naval and military might. Now, these rivalries were every evident in the way of Balkan problem unfold. Each power of what Russia, Germany, England, and Austria was keen on. Controlling the hold on the, power, the powers over the Balkans and extending its own control over the area, this leads to series of war. Finally, the first war. war. And this one is the nationalism. This type of nationalism and uh, with uh, aligned to with imperialism and led Europe the disaster in 1914 that the first world war started. But the meanwhile, many countries in the world which had been colonized by European power in the 19th century began to oppose imperial domination and also anti-imperial movement that are developed everywhere uh, everywhere where nationalists in the sense that they all struggle to form an independent nation state and also they were inspired by a sense of collective national unity and forget their confrontation okay with their imperialism overall they wanted to uh, independent okay they wanted to make a nation okay so this type of nationalism type rumors uh, spread in all over the Europe. Okay. Now the European ideas of now were replicated for people everywhere, developed their own specific variety of nationalism. But the idea that society should be organized into the nation state came to be accepted as a natural and the universal. Okay. 
it means uh, this type of uh, nascent state came to be accepted as a natural and also as a universal okay so these are this is this two this means manipulation and visualizing a nation was two topics were left uh, of this chapter okay so but today it uh, it has finished okay um i hope you understand these two topics okay in this topic uh, there is also mention about the algorithms and then the next topic in the simple sense that the due to imperialism they destroyed many types of they uh, they are uh, is a series of war and finally started a first world war and these are the questions of this chapter and the chapter so i hope you understand this whole the chapter okay so that's all for today thank you